habits that will help you to overcome social anxiety and live a successful and a meaningful and a disciplined and a passionate lifestyle. So in no chronological order, we start off with really simple habits that most people would dismiss because they might not sound interesting, they might be boring to some and they don't understand the value of mastering and doing these habits every day. Habit number one is when you, when you get up out of bed, you, you make the bed, you fix the pillars and the bed every single day. That's, that's the first one. Next habit is you clean your apartment, you keep it tidy on a day-to-day -day basis, wash the dishes, make sure your toilet's clean, air freshener, or you know put everything away when you finished that's the second habit the next habit is you shower every day you make sure you clean your hygienic and you make sure that you wear smart clothes clothes are clean they're iron presentable amazing now they're the basic habits but don't undervalue them or underestimate them if you master all the things I've said you're going to be in a position where it's going to be easier for you to start taking the bigger steps and do things like build a successful business or get the right relationship or improve your finances or improve your relationships with your family and friends or be more confident in public speaking you might be asking yourself the question how does that make sense because the discipline and the tools and the um, strength that it takes to get up every morning clean your apartment habitually to repeat these these habits it is the same discipline the same habits that it's going to take you to build and maintain a successful business and overcome your fear of making money of negotiating of selling of accounting of managing finances of investing of communicating with people even though these might be separate areas the principles are the same if you lack this if you can't clean your apartment how the hell can you run a business properly if you can't trust yourself to wash the dishes regularly and keep your place tidy how can you maintain intimate relationships how you've got no chance you're going to fall apart when there's a challenge and when you're under pressure you're not going to feel good about yourself you're going to lack self-respect and that's going to project onto everything in your life the next one which is my favorite is um, dieting and training I'm not saying you've got to be a diet freak but you've got to maintain a healthy diet common knowledge obviously I know there's a lot of diets out there I'm going to give it to you straight from the tin simple fruit veg you know pasta uh, healthy rice, brown rice, fish, salmon, uh, not white meat, chicken, you know, veg, the obvious stuff, water, uh, protein, obviously you guys can interpret your own thing, greens, obvious stuff. If you consistently have got the discipline to discipline yourself to buy healthy food, bring it home, um, be patient, cook a meal which usually takes between 20 to 30 minutes and not eat takeaways every day or not Uber every day, you're going to go to another level. Your integrity will be stronger, self-discipline, self-respect, confidence, self-esteem, all these things equal overcoming social anxiety. So you're going to build massive confidence and discipline. You're going to actually enjoy the discipline once you see the benefits and the value from doing it and sticking to it. You're not going to see it straight away. You've got to work it for several months until it starts to, you, st you start to notice the difference and your character is going to be better. This is all character building. Character, confidence, all the things you need to be successful in anywhere, especially in business, especially in the area of coaching other people and motivation and changing their life. Fundamentals need to be there, otherwise you, you know, you're going to fall apart when things get challenging. It's not going to maintain. Now onto the physical training. Like I say, it doesn't really matter what regime, everyone's different. I like a combination of boxing, swimming, weight training, and cardio and press-ups and all that kind of stuff. Find a regime that works for you and stick to it. It's all about consistency. It's all about repeating these habits over and over again until, you know, even though you might feel doing the same thing every day could be interpreted as boring or monotonous, I don't, not in my experience, it can actually become exciting and fresh every day as you perfect it, as you perfect the discipline of doing these things. And when you start adding them up, Write this down on paper, have a look at a, a type of person and, and, and see what sort of, how you describe this person. Uh, a person that wakes up every day, they fix their bed, they clean their apartment, they take a shower, they brush their teeth, they shower, they put on clean clothes, they leave the house, they eat a healthy diet, they go to the gym. That doesn't sound like, like a bad person to me, that sounds like quite a positive person. So it makes sense, you know, when you draw up a, a character diagram, you know some businesses, they, they draw characters if they're trying to develop the market or a product or get to know people, it's like, or get a, a kind of description on personality. That's the kind of person you want to be if you want to be successful. And you, if you want to be a better person to others, you've got to work on yourself, you've got to get these right. So all those things are amazing. Like I said, once you can master 
the basic and even if you don't want to, even if you don't want to make more money or you don't want to be a public speaker or you don't want to live the most amazing life just to just to maintain sanity and just to live everyday life and you know whatever you're doing whether you're going to work or uni or you just want to be happier from day to day i think it's impossible without doing these things so these habits are not too above or below anyone whether someone's got a billion pounds or 100 billion or they haven't got um, no money at all Everyone needs to do these things, I believe, to maintain good mental health and, and I, I do these things every day because they make me happier, they make you more grateful for what you've got, make you appreciate it, make you have more self-respect, reduce complaining and blaming and moaning and being ungrateful all the time, nothing's enough, to keep you grounded. So these are the habits that will help you to overcome social anxiety and change your life. And once you can master setting goals, holding yourself accountable, trusting that you're going to um, you're going to put the work in, you're going to actually apply your energy into them, you build self-trust, you build discipline, then you can go and achieve bigger goals. So what I'm basically saying is, if you can maintain the discipline to keep your apartment tidy, eat a healthy, balanced diet, exercise regularly, there's nothing that you can't achieve in this world unless you talk yourself out of doing it. And these are the habits that I teach on all my paid confidence coaching programs to help my clients to be better in all areas of life. There are no limits, only the ones that you put on yourself. So try that guys. I love this because no one can say, oh it's not available. It's simple, it's available right now. You're in your apartment probably right now at some point, or even if you're staying at your parents, doesn't matter, or on a campus, or I don't care if you're sleeping on a couch at a friend's house. Tidy the couch when you're done. It's a self-respect thing and, and, and it, it's also about respecting others. And self-respect and how you treat others will all determine your happiness and your success moving forward in every area, financially, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, etc. If you've got loads of value from this video, let me know in the box below. If you're someone that's always done these things and you agree, I'd love to know in the box below. I appreciate shared values. And if you um, haven't been doing them, but you really decide you're going to change now after seeing this video and I've helped you today, brilliant. Let me know in the box below as always. Like this video if you've got value from it. Subscribe and share it with a friend. And as always, if you want to invest in my confidence coaching to achieve your goals, especially around breaking out of that rut of social anxiety, being more positive social, and achieving your specific goals in career, relationships, finances, or, or fitness, or mindset, send me an email, I'll get back to you and see if we can work together, all right? I'll speak to you guys soon. I appreciate your support. Have a great day.